Hey BDA fans, today I am making a video which will have both a review and a box opening and probably me fiddling around with a Eve Studio 10cm Sphinx. Now just be pre-warned, I ordered mine from in stock, this means that um, any further things I say just apply to dolls that are in stock. I don't really know how long it takes to actually make one so you'd have to actually speak to the company about that but this is basically because when I was contemplating buying one for quite a while it was really hard to find any reviews anything like that set in the UK that were about shipping handling things like that so that's what I'm doing today so on to the shipping part I ordered her about a week ago on Monday she's now arrived it's Tuesday so yeah just over a week to ship which is really good um, and the packaging itself and the outside anyway big just bigger than my head which is saying something for a bit of it's 10 centimeters tall obviously very well packaged didn't get stuck in customs at all everything is fine with it um basically perfect as far as i'm concerned i didn't really have to talk much with the company but when you do get your pet kind of sent off they email you they say basically you know this is tracking number this is website in russian this is website in english they really do provide all the means for you to kind of follow your doll which i really enjoy doing um other than that uh, the website itself, obviously, not as fancy as a lot of mainstream BDD websites, you know, Doll Room, whatever, but works really well when you go in the shop, it's absolutely fine, PayPal works perfect, you know, everything so far has been an absolute dream, and I'm I'm honestly really tempted to get another one, because, you know, kittens! Anyway, so, um, I've kind of talked for long enough, I think, so what I'll do is get, get onto the box opening. So this is the sort of part where I talk about my first impressions, where I talk about, you know, what I like, if there's anything I dislike. Um, okay, so the first thing is, the first thing I noticed about her when I took her out of the packet, as well as how big she is, um, I'll take some pictures of her next to sort of everyday items, just so you can get an idea, um, is basically the fact that she feels sort of fuzzy. It's just, I think, because she's 3D printed, so they sort of build up in layers, and that, those layers kind of accumulate to kind of give a bit of texture, which is really nice, you know, especially with an animal BJD. It's sort of a little bit like um, it, her being flocked, but obviously without the sort of sacrifice it makes to looks and also to poseability, because obviously I've seen a few flocked animals and they can't, you know, you can't have it in the joints, and then it sort of sticks out a bit, and they look a bit more ro robotic, in my opinion anyway so um the second thing i noticed is how many joints she's got so if you you know look at a tail she's got about i'd say about 12 13 i'm not gonna count because there's lots so she but she's also got this one big one at the base which means that you can sort of have a tail like that so it goes right over at the end you can have it you know like that you can have it in so many different positions and kind of things also if you see there that isn't normal she was discounted because she's got some minor scratching and also a missing tail joint you know um as far as i'm concerned you know it's not even an issue she's absolutely perfect and gorgeous and amazing <laughs> so you know it's it's yeah non-issue if you do see any damaged cats come up they are definitely worth getting um i'm sure they wouldn't sell them if they were like unposable anyway so now we're onto the sort of joints which are amazing again <laughs> like my general kind of consensus a plus well done um she's got sort of main rotatey thigh joint which goes forwards and backwards not really any sideways movement at all that's fine you know you, you um they cats don't really have the need to kind of splay themselves out like bambi on ice so that's that's fine um she's then got this joint here which is you know obviously mid thigh so that means you can kind of curl her up a bit more or have a basically various knee configurations I suppose um, then we've got this joint here so again more range of motion and then the sort of long ankle here and her little tiny little paws which are really adorable um, and now if we go on to her body you can see she's got a sort of 
butt joint here now this moves quite stiffly but I quite like that because the texture of her sort of is almost like she's been pre suede so she holds poses really well like you can see with her tail the fact that it just literally sticks if you look as long as you kind of make sure you put it in that position it sticks Ta-da! Um, so yeah so she yeah like I said sort of butt area joint and then you've got one right in the middle so you can make her do this kind of scared cat or the you know lazy cat and then another one right at the front so you could that's just another bit of motion there so if you wanted to kind of have a like she was being kind of held you could have it like that okay so and then finally in the body we've got the final joint here which is the sort of neck joint um that means that she's obviously got a, a lot of motion range of motion with that neck of hers which is long really long um all right and now rotate rotate the cat um yeah neck joints so she's got the one here and then obviously the one that attached to her head um this one is has more kind of more range of ability than this one but uh, you, you know you can twist this one so she's kind of looking over sideways so it means that you know you can move up and down and then sideways as well without really sacrificing any movability it does look a little bit odd if you twist it sideways because you know it kind of comes out a little bit but you know for slight motions you know that's entirely fine you know it's, that's not going to cause anything um generally as far as i can see she seems to like to keep they seem to like to keep their, their heads sort of straight on but at the same time yeah i mean that like again you know it's not as if they are unposable and now her front legs so she's got again the thigh joint sort of elbow joint ankle joint paw joint but these legs are amazing because they kind of have this really fluid beautiful motion kind of forwards and backwards so she can kind of pull up pull down really graceful really feline so obviously a lot of work has gone into these so a plus <laughs> again frontwards backwards forwards backwards you know and again she will hold poses you know in combat because that of that sort of texture there so i definitely recommend the 3d printed ones i can see resin ones working as well but obviously resin is a lot smoother and can cause further issues with posing you may have to wire them or suede them and i wouldn't really want to risk doing that with something so obviously um well complex um well yeah anyway so now we're on to the head so the only thing i am less than enthusiastic about and even then i'm still really enthusiastic about is her eyes um you can't really see but they're sort of I'm not 100 sure they may be acrylic, but I, I personally, it's just a personal thing. I prefer glass. You know, that is literally the only thing that I have any semblance of an issue with. You know, don't even really care about the eyes. It's just honest, just that I prefer glass. So just so you're pretty warned about that, if you want to buy one and you, you can't have anything other than glass eyes, um, yeah, because the eyes are specially made. I think so. They've got to obviously fit the cat heads and click in as i've seen on a couple of um tutorials of how to put them together so anyway her head has got a fantastic range of motion you know she can sort of go ill full exorcist on you um she's got very slight radiant blushing so you can see that her paws are brown and her body's sort of this kind of smoky blue she's also got it on her back and again on her face she's also got like very light pink blushing inside her ears which is really adorable um she's also got this really sweet sort of these little skin folds so on the top of her head um on this bit of her leg on the back of her neck which is like here you can see the little bumps there if i kind of try and make it a bit more visible because obviously um quite small target to film and she's got them here on her chest as well so um getting really with the sphinx thing um i didn't get any other heads for her i you know um i would have if they were available but um i may have to see if i can request some um because honestly you know like i've said this doll is basically perfect she's amazing because oh she's got little tummy wrinkles as well so if i move her legs like that they're just literally there um so yeah honestly ridiculously poseable they hold a pose really well as well which is obviously really great because you know even the most beautiful doll is really hard to sort of work with if it's not really that poseable she feels really lovely um she's bigger than i expected she's <laughs> you know and honestly um she has some scratching to her head uh, just above her eye um if i twist it in the light you can kind of see the light reflecting off it and a little scratch here 
which is barely visible on camera. A little more in real life, but honestly, I um, you know, there is. They just honestly add to sort of her. The ones on her head sort of line up a little bit with the head wrinkles, which is cute. And you know, the way that they sort of blend in anyway isn't an issue. Means you know, they would not an issue the way they would be on you know one of my other resin dolls. Um, so you know, if, if my Frankenstein got scratched or whatever, you know, it'd be very noticeable. But on her, you know, it's it's barely even you know visible. You don't see it. She's just so so beautiful. Um, anyway, so what I'll do now, I will find some things that are. I don't know, fairly obvious in size, and I'll take some pictures of her next to them. But anyway, apart from that, from me and from this kitty who will be named soon, um, you know, thank you and goodbye. And Eve Studio, if you watch this, you know, um, absolutely fantastic in every way. You know, um, incredibly talented, the pair of you, and I really, really hope to get another kitty or maybe a pug. <laughs> From you at some point soon because you know this sweetie is just so worth it <laughs>